Hello everyone, my name is Ura and I am the Codeholic. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create artisan commands in Laravel, execute them and delete some data from the database. And we're going to do this based on the following project, which I created recently. It's an uh, e-commerce project, build and deploy, and I also created a 7 hours tutorial on the following topic. Okay, and right here you can see the deployed version on the following domain, lcommerce.net. You can also log in with the sample username and password, which I pro provided right here, and play with it. Okay, and the problem actually is that you can actually make an order, and uh, the order can be unpaid. You can make an order, but don't pay this order. And the idea of this following video is to delete those unpaid orders using artisan command. And the next part of this video will be to put this artisan command in a cron job, in a scheduled task, which will automatically delete all the unpaid orders after X amount of hours. Okay. And again, if you want to watch that video, how I built that, it's a seven hours tutorial. You can, uh, you can watch from my YouTube channel, or if you want to see the full premium course of this, which is about 23 hours long, 140 videos, I think it's the perfect time to get the course because the discount will end by the end of the November. Okay, check the GitHub repository if you want to get the source code, just get it and follow with me. Okay, and let's create artisan command to delete all the unpaid orders after X amount of hours. If you want to know more about artisan commons, I really encourage you to read the documentation, official documentation from Laravel. Right here, there are, there are basically all the options artisan commons support. In this tutorial, we're going to only see what we need, and we're going to create artisan command to delete unpaid orders. Now, let's go in our project. So, this is our project, and now let me let me open terminal and I'm going to create new artisan command. So let's just execute PHP artisan make colon command. And I'm going to call my command delete unpaid orders. And let's hit the enter. So whenever you execute this, you see that new class was created under app console commands. Okay. In your case, even commands folder might not exist, but whenever you execute the um, following command, then the commands folder will also be created. Let's go under app console commands and right here, this is our command, which we need to adjust. So we just created class-based commands, but there are actually possibility to create closure type of commands. So you don't need to have a class for this. So for this, you just need to open the kernel and right here you can write, um, you can write artisan, oops, artisan command, you specify right here the actual command, and then inside the closure, you write a function, you write a code which you want to be executed. But as I mentioned, I don't want to go too deep into artisan, uh, artisan commands, uh, and you just have a look in the documentation, okay? So let's go in the delete unpaid orders, and let's give this command signature, delete, unpaid orders. And I'm going to specify right here an argument which is going to be hours, okay? And by default, I'm going to give it like 12 hours. Okay, after 12 hours, let's give it 24 actually. After 24 hours, the order will be deleted. Let's give it a description as well. Delete unpaid orders after um, X amount of hours. Okay, and now down below, we need to write the actual implementation. So let's actually get hours by executing this argument hours. And now we're going to run the actual delete. So for this, uh, it's a good practice to avoid writing such type of logic in the artisan command. So I'm going to actually open now order PHP, order model, and I want to write the deleting of unpaid orders right here. Let's create public static function, delete unpaid orders, and let's accept ours right here. So we're going to run order. I want to query all the orders. So let's query all the orders which has status to be order status unpaid 
and let's specify another way right here and created it is a less than and let's create now new date using carbon current date subtract hours given hours okay current date minus x amount of hours and if the order is older than that date then i want to delete those orders okay but if i just execute this it's not going to work let me actually call this first of all from here so i'm going to run order uh, delete unpaid orders and let's give it hours okay but as i mentioned it's not going to work because uh, there are two tables which has a foreign key on the order okay one of them is order items and second is the payments and if you just try to delete that orders it's not going to work uh, because the migration uh, for the order items and for the payments if we quickly have a look at those so right here if you open order items for example and when we created the foreign key by default this one has restrict okay you cannot delete an order because it has order items so one approach is to query all the order items right here and delete the order items first and the same happens for the uh, payments the second uh, option is to update the constraint and for this, we have to create new migration. I'm going to go with the second approach because if I want to delete an unpaid order, it doesn't really make sense to restrict because it has order items. Okay, and quite obviously, it will not have um, it will not have payments at all. So let's just create new migration. PHP artisan make migration. Let's give it update order items order id and let's hit the enter and let me generate second migration as well it's going to take a few seconds until this is done and update payments order id and let's hit the enter okay now i generated two migrations now let's open update order items and let's write up schema table order items we accept a blueprint right here and then on the table first i want to drop an existing foreign key and i'm going to call drop foreign and pass right here an array with a column name the column name is order id so i want to delete the foreign key for the following column let's put semicolon right here and then i want to create new foreign key which will have um, cascade on delete so let's run foreign on order id which will reference to id on orders table and let's specify cascade on delete okay and just like this we drop the foreign key and created new foreign key which has cascade on delete and let me actually copy this and put this down below okay and in this case i will just remove cascade on delete okay and to quickly check if i am correct and if this works successfully i want to do the following thing i want to execute my artisan command but i want to put the code inside a database transaction okay let's run begin transaction right here and then finally i just want to roll back my transaction i don't want at the moment the actual orders to be deleted just i want to see an order uh the the error basically okay so let's clear up everything and run php artisan and by by the way uh when we wrote right here the signature and description if you want to see that you're going to run help delete unpaid dash orders and this will give you all the information about that specific that specific artisan command here we go so we have the description we have the usage okay and let's run php artisan delete unpaid orders and by default it has 24 hours okay let's hit the enter and here we have a lot of exceptions let's scroll up integrity constraint violation cannot delete or update pure intro 
because blah 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 something right here constraint order items order id foreign key okay this is exactly what i was talking about and if right now i execute the migration um, it will not complain about the order items but it will complain about the about the payments so let's write a migration for the payments as well let me actually quickly copy and paste this code inside payments inside the migration which is called update payments order id and let's change this into payments order id order id id and right here we need payments uh no actually it should be orders my bad and the only thing is to just copy this and put this down below and just remove this cascade on delete okay perfect now let's run migrations php artisan migrate hit the enter two migrations have been applied okay perfect now let's run artisan command to delete unpaid orders hit the enter we don't see any error which basically tells us that everything worked successfully but no orders were actually deleted because we roll back our transaction so if we go in the database right now i'm going to open my php my admin and let's click on orders right here okay so we have few unpaid orders at the moment in the database and we have i think four unpaid orders and this one is new this one is slightly new and where is it right here this one is old obviously so whenever we execute and this one is also very old okay and today is 28 and i think three orders should be deleted this one should be deleted this one should be deleted and this one should be deleted but this one should not be deleted because that i created like a few minutes ago before i started um, recording okay so let's actually print uh, before i run delete let's get the count and save it in a variable okay and let's just uh, dump and die count right here and let's execute this now we see two okay two orders should be deleted okay probably this one is also recent one it should not be however this is first this is second sub hours and we give 24 hours yeah okay um if i just specify okay let's specify like a, i want to delete all the orders which are older than one hour i specified right here 24 that's that's actually correct i thought i specified just one okay if i just specify one this should uh, print three that's correct if i just specify zero okay this should print four okay four unpaid orders will, will be deleted okay but by default it's 24 so everything works correctly it should delete two orders okay and let's revert this back into delete and let's clear up and execute again it should actually delete it two orders but it didn't delete those two orders because we just roll back the transaction so if i just remove this begin transaction and roll back it's going to delete and let's just print some kind of output right here so we're going to run this info um, unpaid oh, okay let's just return how many was deleted okay so let's just return everything from here and assign it into variable called count okay and let's just print like this okay whatever count uh, unpaid orders we're deleted okay let's just save this and execute this and we see two unpaid orders we are deleted and if we now check in the database we're gonna see only two unpaid orders which is a very recent one and the older unpaid orders are actually deleted okay and if i specify right now one i want to delete all the orders which are older than one hour i hit the enter one unpaid order was deleted let's remove these double quotations i think it's not necessary and this should disappear uh, with id 22. okay if i just reload the page there is no order with id 22. okay 
Alright guys, that's it for this video and thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and if you want to see more videos from me like this, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications. Check the 7 hours YouTube tutorial to build and deploy Laravel e-commerce course and I also really encourage you to check my website thecodeholic.com, just have a look at the content of the course and if you enjoy it, if you like it, maybe you can enroll inside the course. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.